Is there a measure for loving another person as yourself? How do you know? You can tell yourself that you love your fellow Jew, and you probably do. But how do you know whether you're doing it right? How do you know that you're there? Uh, how do you improve on it? Love expresses itself in two ways. Your agony, your pain is my pain. Your joy is my joy. Empathy is usually assumed to mean that you feel the pain of another person. See, that's such the effect of gullus, the effect of, of exile. All, everything negative is easier than anything positive. So to empathize with another person's pain is much easier than to join the person in their pleasure. When you hear someone has bad news, you feel bad. They have good news, good for them. Much harder to get excited about their good news than to be uh, uncomfortable with their bad news. So how do you know you really love somebody? When seeing them makes you happy. When seeing their virtue, when hearing of their success, when, when appreciating their progress makes you happier, makes your life livable. That's real love. So there are some people with whom you can feel this more easily, of course. So you love those people properly. The others, maybe you don't feel so, um, so blessed by association. So you try. Even accepting the commitment knowing that you ought to love every Jew is a great thing if you're really convinced. So if you feel like you're not loving a Jew and that makes you feel like there's something missing, that's beautiful. That's, that's what God wants to see. Now, the eradicating of Amalek in today's world Amalek doesn't exist as a people anymore. Amalek has become a tendency, an uh, impulse. And that impulse is, what about me? Why me? It's mine. It's for me. It's about me. That's Amalek. Are we getting better at eradicating Amalek? We're getting so sick of it. It's almost destroying itself. It's imploding on itself. Yes, we still think about ourselves. The me monster is very much alive, but we don't like him anymore. We don't want him. You know, people, people don't want to wallow in themselves. It's no fun. Even young children, if you spoil them, they hate you. Why is that? It seems like they want to be spoiled. But they don't. They don't. They actually want to be saved from their own me monster. And that's why they join clubs and they go traveling. and They want to see something bigger than themselves to get away from their own pettiness from their own Amalek. And the best way to do that is to step over the border, not just from me to others, because there are more of them than there is of me. It's to step across the border from human to godly. Either it's about me, me meaning the human race, or it's something way bigger, something divine. So every time we choose to do a mitzvah, 
we're stepping over that border from creation to creator. And that's the transition from weekday to Shabbos. That is the eradication of Amalek. If you enjoyed this conversation or this topic, and you're looking for more information, or you want to hear it again from another angle, there is a way to do that. And that is in this book. It's all there. Order it from Amazon. You can read it, reread it, and share it. I want to invite you to join us as VIPs, partners in our work, and join us also for uh, a personal chat with other members of the VIP club. We talk about many things. There's an opportunity to ask, to respond, to make a comment, to meet the other supporters. And together we can really make a difference in Jewish life and in life in general. So join us. It's good to know org. Log in, call, make contact, and join us with the VIPs.